to tell you. So, in today's session, we will discuss about heart diseases, pneumonia, causes, and preventive measures needed to avoid the heart attack. The term heart disease refers to several types of heart conditions, including coronary artery disease. Despite increases in awareness over the past decades, only about half of women recognize that heart disease is their number one case. Women's experience with heart disease is different from men's in several important ways. Women are under aware and under research. Women's unique physiology poses distinct challenges in the prevention and management of heart disease. Heart diseases that impact women more than men are majority of two types. Coronary microvascular disease is a problem that affects our spiny vessels. Then there is broken heart syndrome. Extreme emotional stress leading to severe but often shortened heart muscle failure. The older a woman gets, the more likely she is to get heart disease. But women of all ages should be concerned about heart disease. It's never too early to see a doctor to discuss your risk for heart disease. In fact, new primary prevention guidelines say that earlier the risk factors for heart disease are prevented or treated, the less likely you are to develop heart disease later. Most common heart disease symptoms in women are the same as in men. Some type of chest pain, pressure, or discomfort that lasts more than a few minutes are common in both. But chest pain is not always severe or even the most noticeable symptom, particularly in women. Women often describe it as pressure or tightness in the chest, and it is possible to have a heart attack without chest pain, particularly if the woman is a dad. It is known as silent and Women are more likely than men to have heart attack symptoms unrelated to chest pain, atypical symptoms we call them, such as neck, jaw, shoulder, upper back, or abdominal discomfort, shortness of breath, pain in one of the arms, nausea or vomiting, sweating, lightheadedness, or dizziness, unusual fatigue, and indigestion. To also make someone suspect heart disease. Let us discuss the risk factors for cardiovascular disease that are unique to women. Gestational hypertension. Any woman who develops hypertension during pregnancy is more likely to have high blood pressure later in life. That is a risk factor. Preeclampsia. Any woman having preeclampsia in the pregnancy is more likely to have coronary vascular disease. And hypertension in pregnancy. Gestational diabetes. Anyone who develops diabetes during pregnancy is more likely to have diabetes later in life. She should be regularly monitored and screened for diabetes even after the delivery for the rest of the life. Thyroid disorders, having hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism, both increase the risk of heart disease in women. Polycystic ovarian disease, PCOD is commonly known as. It impacts the woman. Women are obese, they have multiple cysts in the ovary, they are infertile, difficulty to conceive, or they are not able to conceive. They are at worst of developing diabetes and coronary artery disease. Certain autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, they predispose the woman to have bladder disease by affecting the arteries. Birth control pills or OCPs, oral contraceptive pills, they increase the woman's risk of developing heart disease later in life. They increase, they, they increase the 
Todavía le diría a Shalar. Menopause is a normal stage in a woman's life. Uh, it is a change and it stops having during periods. It stops having periods. And then have risk factors for cardiac disease become the same as men. After menopause, during menopause, ladies have physical changes like heart crushes, night sweats, emotional changes, dryness in the vagina. The change of natural hormone levels as women get older may play a part in high risk of heart disease that she and women. Treatment of heart disease in women is same as men, it's medical treatment, angioplasty, or vitamins. Generally the same. Lastly, what the woman can do to reduce the risk of heart disease. Living a healthy lifestyle can help reduce the risk of heart disease. They should try these heart healthy strategies. Quit smoking. No? If you are smoking, stop smoking and never start smoking. Exercise regularly. In general, everybody should do moderate exercise, such as walking and rest days on most days of the week. Maintain a healthy weight. Losing a few pounds or kilos may go a long way in improving your diet. Eat a healthy diet. Oxford whole grains, a variety of fruits and vegetables, low fat or fat free dairy products, and lean meats. Avoid saturated or plant fats, added sugars, and high amounts of salt. In fact, you should avoid all kind of junk food, then try simpler. Foods with low sugar and low fat today. Manage your stress. Stress can cause your arteries to tighten. It can increase your risk of heart disease, particularly pulmonary microvascular disease. So managing stress is very important. Slow down, let go, and stay easy. Don't work beyond your capacities. Follow your treatment plan. Of course, if somebody gets a problem like diabetes, hypertension, or other things, adhere to the treatment prescribed by your doctors. Don't stop the treatment. Take the investigations regularly and no self medication. And always stay in touch with doctors and stay informed from right sessions. Manage other health conditions like high blood pressure. Diabetes, high cholesterol levels, or thyroid disorders, which increase the risk of heart disease. So, summing up, I would say women have almost the uh, you know, same levels of heart disease as in men, particularly after you menopause. Know, they should pay attention to their weight, they should regularly monitor their sugar, blood pressure. They should stay into the guidance of uh, good, good physicians and uh, they should investigate, they should get the investigations done at the right time. And they should you know, manage the disease well under the guidance of trained physicians. They should never be afraid of asking any questions from anybody regarding their problems. Be low on stress and high on exercise and eat healthy life.